basically I wanted to introduce you to Sylvain, the other Sylvain, because we've been working with him for quite a long time now. I think the first gallery in the network that picked him up was the uh, New York Gallery. Yeah. He's one of the artists at Opera that we call a core artist. So whether you go to Opera Gallery in Singapore, in New York, or in Dubai, you will find pieces uh, from Sylvain constantly on, on display. We've been working with him for a very long time. And what I think is uh, very interesting about Sylvain is uh, he's been around. He's worked in a lot of different countries and he's always been deeply affected by his uh, environment it, and, and you can actually see that in his work um, so since he's here with us you can, uh, yeah, you can pop the question. Uh, Sylvan, nice to see you um, maybe you can just pull yeah, that microphone yeah, around a little okay. bit great, um, so just tell us a bit more detail about your work and uh, you know what, what, what inspires you Yeah, my inspiration is always uh, when I'm travelling uh, I spent three years in China and now it's three years in, in Dubai. And uh, since I'm in Dubai, I include the, the sun from the, the dune, it's an example. Yeah, yeah. Or I grab from the ground the, the metal ro rod rust um, from the building, and I include that in the painting. And uh, what is particular in my, uh, my work, I have a big contrast with a uh, big varnish, really glossy, and the matte part, and it's really a uh, uh, thick painting. Sylvain, you're probably best known for something you did recently in the desert, and this is possibly one of the best hot air balloons that I've ever seen. Yeah. I watched the video this morning before you came into the studio, and what you did is you created this portrait of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, uh, where you dropped sand from a hot air balloon onto a canvas yeah. that was laid out in the desert to, to craft this amazing image of the shake. But when I was watching, I was just thinking, oh my goodness, you're really reliant on your environment because, you know, if, if it's windy, this just isn't going to work. Yeah, it's true. It was a big challenge because <laughs> uh, um, my target is it, it was to do the World Guinness record that mm -hmm. we did. And that day, uh, unlucky, a lot of wind. Yeah. And when I was in a hot, uh, hot air balloon, I began to drop the sand and a big wind arrived and I failed one of my bones. And all the major was there, I say, oh my God, I cannot stop. And oh I, gosh. I, we finished uh, this art, what was uh, a big challenge. We did that because um, it was the 40th anniversary of the Canadian Embassy. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Canadian University, while I'm a visiting lecturer, they uh, support me on that project with s some help from students and uh, some colleagues. And finally, we did. We did the, the, the work of Guinness Record. And like uh, you said, and, uh, it's true that I'm inspired by why I am. Yesterday, we celebrate the National Day at the Kinsey University. And with uh, three uh, nice uh, students, uh, Mahan, Nida, and Marianne, we uh, create uh, the, um, the logo of a Spirit of Union. And I use a sp special technique. First, I put a wax, and the people they don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And at the last moment, we spray coconut powder on it, and the image appears in a second. It's really magic, and the people... Yeah. They